Hello everybody, welcome back to my Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. Last episode we ran around the Nexus to do the stuff that I could do here. So, I clearly done with all that. Terminal. Ah, all the news reports turn to Tempest. I did this, I did find out between episodes, not between the last one and this one, but between 17 and 18 I found out that you can actually talk to Sam on the Tempest and get jokes. I don't know why I didn't talk to him on the Tempest before. I really don't. For some reason I was thinking, oh I won't get anything from him while on the Tempest. Koro wanted to check in with you. Yeah? Okay. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? <laughs> oh. Fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. That sound fine. What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. No. Any more Tell stories me for me? O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the hmm. engine core. I think you told that one already, man. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No. Oh, if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. All right. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties? What else would you use it for? <laughs> well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I like her thoughts. God is an artist and an inventor. I mean, he created all this, right? Isn't that what inventors do? Create things? <laughs> an artist? I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. 
So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. I can waste so much time in this FTL game talking sensor. to people. So a faster than light telescope? They it's gonna take them. me a while to get through everything. <laughs> exactly, but it cut down the lag by enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can eh? figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. All right. Let me check my email. I might have an email from the thing. Nope, oh, I don't have an email from them yet. Who is over here? No one is over here. I feel like there should be someone there at some point. Anyway, say PB. PB? PB? Where's PB? There's Wait, no. That's Lexi. Everything around here is so damn shiny. This should be brand new. Be nice to keep her that way a little longer. Fewer germs, too. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Come here, Dexter. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it. Dexter, right? come here. You keep that going. You just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Ket. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. That's the same thing he talked said last time. We can talk more later. I must have exhausted what he has to say on that. I like Drek. He's my favorite. Need something? Well, my favorites anyway. I ran across another memory fragment. Dad made Sam for mom. To cure her. I knew that was part of it, but... You didn't know it was the driving force. He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Alright, Cora is usually in here. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. 
I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. <sighs> so bad for her. She's supposed to be the one who's Pathfinder instead I am. Where is PB? Did they not all get... Wait, this is glowing. Why is this glowing? Ah. It's just the VidCon. And it's just glowing because it glows. Alright. Open door. There's PB. I see what that vault feels like early brain surgery. Just poking and hoping. As long as it helps us to live here, I don't care how the vault's doing it. Magnificently. That's how. I prefer tech with more exposed bolts. If you can't open it, you don't own it. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you, Gil. That's Anytime. Near I can tell. Talk to him about. How are you, PB? Hey, yeah. Uh, what's shaking? Nothing new Thanks from for you either. We'll talk again later. You know it. <sighs> All right. About from Vetra and Liam. Anything new from you guys? Need something? Need something done? <laughs> you probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Pathfinder? We'll talk later. I know I'm not interested in Liam. I've heard his quad. Thanks. Squad banter. Uh, 
Alright, up I go. Wait. I can talk to Sam. I forgot. I almost forgot to talk to Sam. Hello, Ryder. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. You have grown as a result, and so have I. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my service in Sam node on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement mm. communication. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. <laughs> How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Threshamores eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Sam. The puns. <laughs> the dad puns. <laughs> He's got them dad puns. Alright. Let's go back to EOS now. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Tsubi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Wait, I forgot to change. Coordinating, path is calm. Who is with me? But I want to bring Drac with me. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver pathfinder. Nav point is set. Alright. I don't want to depart the whole planet though. I'll bring Drac on me next with me next time. Anyways. Do, 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 do. Hello, Ryder. Pathfinder, Darkit, Trevian. I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo-studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the Ket on this planet, I drifted in. And there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. 
Ah, thank you. Map. Guys, I'm gonna get up. Trying to get up. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Welcome back. I've got to go. You don't have anything new to Keep tell me, though. Work. said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? I need to use that computer here. Standing What's in front of... What's it like of... living in our first successful outpost? Reminds me of my Alliance days. These soldiers look so young. But they're eager. We know we'll make this work. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the Initiative, suggested I consider it. This seems like a better frontier. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime, preferably unhurt. Excuse me. Oh, do I need to scan you? Right. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from... Really? You say Pathfinder because you need to talk to me, or just because you said Pathfinder? Because you said Pathfinder. Rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, a scientist set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go. All right. I have that to go to. Ah, it's right there. It's pretty close. I'm going to go, like, spread out. So I'll go here next episode. But in the meantime, that's all the time I have left for this episode. Why why won't it let me save? I don't understand. Okay. There we go. Okay, saved.
I'm going to continue on this quest next episode. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this off here. Thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget, keep it real and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.